Hello there. Good to have you with us today for our exciting show on United States Marine Corps enlisted rank insignia for World War II, specifically the period 1944-1946, the Korean War, 1946 to 1958, and the Vietnam War to present, 1958 to, well, now. So let's go take a look. During the Revolution, the Marine Corps' emphasis was on ships detachments, so the enlisted rank structure was really, really quite simple. The grades that evolved were sergeant, corporal, drummer, or fifer, and private. In 1798, the Navy Department was created, and the United States Marine Corps came into official being, and that established the ranks of sergeant major, quartermaster sergeant, and drum major. On the eve of World War II, the titles and the pay grades of Marine non-commissioned officers were varied, they were repetitive, and they were very complicated. Confusing titles like Master Technical Sergeant First Pay Grade and Mess Sergeant, Chief Cook Fourth Grade, they brought about a need for readjustment, and those readjustments started during World War II, the line staff non-commissioned officers, those having command billets, dealing with command and personnel, they had rounded rockers or arcs joined by the chevrons. While staff non-commissioned officers, those with technical skills, they had ties or straight bars joined by chevrons. The ties were abolished in December 1946 when it was decided that all staff non-commissioned officers would wear the rocker-type chevron. Okay, let's take a look at the Marine Corps' enlisted rank structure over the last 75 years. We'll start on the lower left-hand corner with uh, World War II, and then next is Korea, and then Vietnam to present. Uh, private stayed absolutely the same. PFC stripes, uh, and we're showing all of the stripes in gold on red. Uh, PFC stripes remain the same in both World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. And the difference was in corporal. In 1959, a new rank structure was approved which brought back the old Lance Corporal rank. And it added cross rifles to the enlisted rank insignia. The Lance Corporal rank replaced the old E3 Corporal and lifted the balance of the rank structure and I'll show you that in detail as we go along. The old World War II and Korean War Sergeant rank with three chevrons was now changed to Corporal with the crossed rifles underneath. So Marine pay grade E4 was now a corporal. The World War II grade shown in the upper left hand corner of platoon sergeant and staff sergeant, the ones with the bar, were redesignated in the Korean War to the stripes that you see, three chevrons up and an arc underneath. But in 1959, they were designated as a sergeant and the lower rocker went away, and well, the crossed rifles went in to replace them. And that's the Marine grade E5 for pay. Now, starting in your lower left, the World War II grades of gunnery sergeant and tech sergeant lost the bars across the bottom, and it was all arcs for tech sergeant and the Korean War. That rank in 1959 was redesignated as a staff sergeant, as shown on the right with one rocker underneath. Starting with your next row of chevrons on your left, these were the World War II senior enlisted grades. Sergeant Major, First Sergeant, Master Sergeant, Quartermaster Sergeant, and you can still see the bars across the bottom for the technical side. In the Korean War, Master Sergeant was three chevrons up and three rockers down. So basically what you're seeing is the 1959 change or the Vietnam War period to now lifted up all of the Marine enlisted grades as shown to the right. The early addition of the E8 and E9 pay grades that allowed senior staff NCO rank insignia to show with those command and personnel responsibilities as first sergeant and sergeant major with a diamond and a star respectively. And those with technical responsibilities as master sergeant, master gunnery sergeant with cross rifles and a bursting bomb. The unique position of sergeant major of the Marine Corps had a very special insignia and I'll show you a more detailed example of that in just a moment. If you want to know more information about United States Marine Corps awards and insignia, this is our latest book by Jim Thompson and I. We've been producing it for 30 years. It covers 
every marine award and insignia from the revolution to today. It's available for you on Amazon, and it can be in your house this weekend. The Marine Corps currently uses four types of rank insignia, chevrons. Gold on red for the dress blue uniform, blues. Green on red for the service uniform, greens. Green on khaki for the service shirt. And black metal on utilities. Now, here's a good example of the Marine Corps Staff Sergeant E6 gold on red insignia as worn on the dress uniform. A good example of a Marine Corps Sergeant E5 different rank insignia is worn on the uniform and well gold on red, green on red and you'll see in addition to the black insignia there's also a pin in highly polished brass variation available. And here's a look at the corporal insignia and uh, however I will tell you that I did not get the metal ones to scale they would be much smaller and I'll give you an example of that in a moment. Musicians in the Marine Band, the President's own, currently wear the rank insignia of Staff Sergeant to Sergeant Major, similar to their regular counterparts, except the insignia contains a musical lyre rather than crossed rifles, as shown. I also need to mention that enlistment or service stripes are worn on the dress and service jackets, one for each four years of service. Service stripes are gold on red for the dress uniform, the blue uniform, blues, or green on red for the service uniform, greens. Here's a good example of a Marine Corps Staff Sergeant in blues wearing the gold on red stripes, and then the sergeant wearing the green on red stripes, and then the green on khaki stripes by another sergeant, and then, well, <laughs> the first sergeant's stripes do fill up the sleeve of his shirt, don't they? And this just gives you a really good idea of the difference in the size between a female marine chevron and a male marine chevron. This picture gives you a little better idea of the size of the female marine chevrons. <laughs> Time out for just a second. I need to say thank you to Medals of America and Fountain Inn, South Carolina, for generously supplying all of the military awards that you see on this show. So if you need something, you don't really need to have your catalog. You can simply pick up your phone and order anything you need. Thanks. Here is a good look at the black metal insignia that go on utilities for private, lance corporal, corporal, sergeant, staff sergeant, gunnery sergeant, first sergeant, and master gunnery sergeant. Unique chevrons of the sergeant major of the Marine Corps are shown here. Three chevrons up, four rockers down, the eagle globe and anchor with the star on either side. And the Sergeant Major of the Marine Corps is shown here with the Commandant. And then to wrap up, we'll show you some examples of how Marine Corps Vietnam veterans use their chevrons as part of their displays. This Marine Sergeant Veteran of the Vietnam War uses his chevrons to anchor the base of his display case. This Lance Corporal's gold on red chevrons look really good on a red background while he displays his Vietnam Service Awards. This Marine Master Sergeant Vietnam veteran uses, uh, well, his ribbons, his medals, and his handsome chevrons, along with his dog tags and his P-38. This former Marine Corporal does a great job using his insignia, his patches, his medals, and anchoring his display case with not only his chevrons off of his dress blues, but off of his utilities also. <laughs> Thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the program as much as we enjoyed putting it on for you. And special thanks to Medals of America for supporting us. If you have any questions, contact me through my channel. I will try, really, seriously try to answer your questions. So see you next time on Veterans Medals Workshop.